Someone is definitely having a bad day. And before I go any further, I want you to know they lived to tell the tale. How did we get here? Let's do a quick breakdown. It's Wednesday morning and maybe you're on your way to work. 8 a.m., sun is shining, beautiful day out, and boom, suddenly a deer darts in front of your brand new pickup, (laughs) which you've been waiting forever on back order to get. Uh, but it ends up being completely disabled. Obviously, you want to pull over, but maybe you can't do that safely. You're quickly losing momentum and heavy traffic on your right or left prevented you from getting off on the shoulder. Now we've got ourselves in a little bit of a situation. This is the north metro of the Twin Cities, so some of the faster drivers out here could easily be going 75 or 80 miles an hour, maybe even a little bit faster. The driver and passenger of the truck are thankfully able to make it to the side of the road and wisely position themselves behind the guardrail. A smart choice, especially with what's about to happen. There are several close calls, but I also really liked how drivers used the generous shoulder to make space for each other. Unfortunately, it won't stay that way for long. There's a semi-truck that just won't stop. But a quick question. Do you think closing the door made the vehicle more or less visible? A few key observations. Certainly blocking a lane of traffic on the freeway is undesirable, but the occupants deserve credit for getting safely behind a barrier and also turning on their four-way flashers. There were multiple calls to 911 about the blocking vehicle, which meant emergency responders were already on their way. And in our experience, troopers always respond, lights and sirens, to a vehicle blocking on the freeway. One pedestrian is nearly hit by a bucket, but thankfully able to get away. Talk about situational awareness and being aware of the fact that even though you're off the side of the road, something like this could still happen. Expect the unexpected. But my absolute favorite part of this is the bystander who stopped being a bystander and absolutely booked it to her car and successfully pulled it away from the inferno without panicking and safely moved it back without hitting the car behind her. It's easy to suffer from bystander syndrome, or from fight, flight, freeze. But this is someone who quickly evaluated the situation, went all out, and helped prevent further damage.